napkin rings. Probably the last objects on Earth that you would expect to completely blow your mind today. But get ready, because they're about to. When you core a sphere with a cylinder, you're left with an object that looks like a napkin ring of a certain height. No matter the size of the sphere, if you perform the procedure to create a napkin ring of a certain height, every ring that height will have the same volume. But that probably doesn't blow your mind yet because it's a little abstract. So let's bring this abstractness back to reality to demonstrate it further. When you core an orange to create a napkin ring, you're left with an object that is probably about two inches high. If you then core the earth to create a napkin ring that is also two inches high, you're left with two seemingly different napkin rings, except they have the exact same internal volume. <laughs> This is called the napkin ring paradox. The math that proves why this bizarre phenomenon occurs isn't really that complicated, but it is math. For that reason, I'll do my best to explain things in the simplest way possible. In order to find the volume of each napkin ring, you have to subject yourself to formulating some equations that use the area of a circle, a little geometry, and the Pythagorean theorem. What you'll find is that after going through all of the math, you're left with an equation that looks like this. V equals pi times h cubed over 6. One thing you'll notice if you look at the equation is that in order to solve for the volume of a napkin ring, all you need is the height of the napkin ring. In no way there is there the radius or the diameter in that equation. It turns out that the radius of the original sphere cancels out in earlier equations as you're deriving this final one, and it's ultimately inconsequential to a napkin ring's volume. If you're curious about how that equation was formulated, I'll link to Vsauce's video on this topic in the description below because he goes into a far more in-depth discussion of it. So what does all this mean? All this mathematical wizardry ultimately poses some perplexing paradoxical comparisons that can be made in the real world. Pushing this paradox even further to the extreme, if you were to core a golf ball and the sun, each to have a result in height of one inch, those two rings would have the exact same volume. What about a P in, in Jupiter? As long as the napkin rings have the same height, the resultant volume will be exactly the same. This problem actually dates back to the 17th century, first recorded to be found by Japanese mathematician Seki Kowa. His geometrical proof eventually was formulated into the modern-day napkin ring paradox, which gained popularity from its ultimate perplexing nature. So what does all this geometric hocus-pocus mean to you specifically? doesn't really have any grand implications other than now you can blow your family's mind next time you're at a holiday dinner and the napkin rings get pulled out of the cupboard. <laughs>